in this video i just want to show you what small towns in canada look like uh, what you can expect if you want to move to a small town uh, what kind of amenities you can have in a small town okay so we enter in the um, uh, small town it's like a rural town uh, which uh, kind of you can say in the middle of nowhere so uh, no um, major um, like big uh, cities around close by uh, and this is town uh, about 90 kilometers from Toronto from downtown Toronto so usually they have like some businesses some sometimes they have like even factories Speed limit usually about 50 kilometers so if you go um, if you're going through town any town usually speed limit here in Canada is about 50 kilometers per hour uh, so be aware of it don't drive too fast uh, so as you can see there are some businesses when you enter in the town usually they around town they're not in the town like big businesses or factories there could be like few uh, gas stations um, as you can see this is one of the most popular here in Canada ESO and uh, Petro Canada it depends on province but yeah the they are quite popular here and this is we entering uh, the actual town it's like a main street here for town uh, as you can see houses here on the main street usually pretty old uh, they call them like century houses uh, they could be re really great like inside they could, could be renovated very nicely uh, but they're old like 100 years, 200 years, 150 years. This is um, downtown of this small town. Uh, here's some stores, like uh, we have hardware store here, restaurants, uh, Canada Post office, usually here too. Church, one or two, could be two few churches could be around like some other businesses and basically that's it that's uh, the, almost the end of the town I'm gonna turn here to a new subdivision that they built recently you will see how new subdivision looks like uh, there's a fire station So this is we entering a new subdivision that they just built like uh, a year ago I would say maybe a little bit more but this is a new new houses here new subdivision very nice one actually for um, this area at least and the price is already not that cheap as it used to be when they just when they were build, building it but still uh, for the amount of house you get in here it's um, a little bit cheaper than you would get in uh, Toronto or uh, cities around. I'm just gonna take you on a quick tour through this neighborhood. It's really nice. Prices here for this kind of uh, uh, homes around 700, 800, 700. But they are big, like the, this is a large houses here, as you can see. working on the road here that's how it used to be as you can see there's this old farm and this whole land was like this before they built the neighborhood here It's 
really great place to raise kids uh, because it's quieter and it's nice and uh, people are friendly mostly and um, and if you work from home let's say or if you work uh, if you don't have to uh, drive to Toronto you work some closer towns let's say to uh, to this, some other small towns uh, you easily can live in this in this kind of town uh, this is the main street again I'm gonna turn now to uh, to show you um, an older neighborhood here You can see these houses are very old and they not they doesn't look really nice here but again you can buy it you can renovate it you can sell it with profit it's, uh, it's not bad investment still if you buy an even old house here in Canada still can be profitable still can live in it it's mostly they are livable These are like um, not century houses, but they older than I just showed you before. It's an older neighborhood. Uh, it's newer than the most of the town, but still older. But they nice. Like they spacious mostly. Their rooms are could be big there, and they at bungalows. Lots of people like like bungalow over um, um, two stories houses. And here's another newer neighborhood that I'm gonna show you. It's also really nice. So living in this town, you will get your postal service. You will get uh, mostly everything you need, except maybe like big grocery stores won't be here. But there's a closer towns to this one which are bigger and they have um, uh, they have a bigger store they have Walmart they have Loblaws they have like this those kind of big uh, um, stores those big uh, grocery stores uh, like supermarkets and then if you want to go to Costco there's a 50 minutes drive to um, about 50 minutes drive to um, New Market, let's say, uh, which is kind of bigger, much bigger town. So you can go there and you can have your grocery. You can, because mostly Canadian, they don't shop every day for groceries. They do it like uh, once a week, about once a week, sometimes even twice a week. They buy lots of groceries, they put them in the car and bring it home and then you good to go for like another uh, uh, another week or two. So uh, you don't have to go to the stores every day, which is good. As you can see the house is nice and um, and the neighborhood is nice as well there's a you can see a public school kids are having a recess now mostly every town will have uh, one or two public schools, high school and uh, elementary school. Uh, sometimes it could be like um, not in the town, but it could be in the area. So your your kids will uh, have um, access to to education. Your kids kids will have access to school. And if you live like in a really rural area, you will your kids will be taking bus, which is great too. Here we are on the main street again.
and this is it. We're out of town now. We came the same way, same way we live in, and um, yeah, I showed you just a portion of the town, not the whole thing, but that's like the biggest portion you saw already. So basically, that's how it looks. And uh, can you live there? Of course, we live in a small town and we really like it. Uh, we drive to work, uh, at least we used to drive before COVID-19, we used to drive to work every day. Uh, now it's not every day for me, every day for uh, my wife. Uh, and uh, we're pretty happy, the school is great in our town. We have our kids going to French classes there and the school is new and great and teachers are uh, nice and they couldn't be happy actually uh, the prices for real estate is cheaper than you can buy or you can rent in um, bigger towns closer towns to Toronto and if you're not attached to Toronto if you don't have any businesses related to Toronto if you don't drive there every day you don't have to live there if you I hope you like this short tour and it was helpful for you so um basically it's a matter of preferences basically it's a matter of um, um wants uh, where you want to live how you want to live uh, it's a matter of your uh, lifestyle expectations uh you can live in big city and you can have lots of amenities there you can have uh, everything in uh, walking distance any like uh, small stores small shops uh, lots of restaurants um theaters uh, concerts everything you can live in the city your kids will go to schools there's a like of course there's noise there's traffic and uh, some people like it and it's and it's totally fine and it's great but uh, if you're really looking for some like uh, place to live uh, quietly in some quiet place to live uh, for your kids to go to smaller school the small town is a really great place to live as you saw uh, there's plenty of amenities as well it's not like huge variety uh, as you will see in toronto of course you will have your grocery store around you will have school uh, or schools around you will have a uh, fire station um, uh, first responders uh, station so uh, in case of emergency you will get your help uh, in terms of hospitals um, if you're talking about this particular town that they show you it's uh, like 20 minutes 25 minutes drive from um, from the town there's two uh, bigger towns with big like really big huge hospitals you you won't be stranded without uh, uh, medical help so um, if you have any questions ask the in the comments down below don't forget to subscribe to our channel and I'll see you next time.